biology and chemistry students often trip up on this one topic, logarithms. Uh, this is a quick cheat sheet you can use, especially if you're not doing the A-level math course, that will help you when it comes to doing data analysis for your practicals and your labs, which are part of the bio and chem syllabus. The reason I exclude physics is because most physics students are doing A-level math. So anyway, the above is the main rules of logarithms you need to know. If you're an A-level math student, you should know this. this. This is straightforward. However, if you're not and you're doing bio and chem, Rule number one is probably the most important for you to know, which is essentially um, that log formula or that log rule there you will need when interpreting results, collecting data, etc. The reason I say this is because um, oftentimes I found with students, if they're not doing A-level math, something as simple as rule number one above can trip people up. I'm not saying it will, but it tends to happen. So save this for later and then comment below what topics across the math and science syllabus you tend to struggle with and then I could cover that too.